Greetings all, welcome back to Bugs and Biology. Recently this channel surpassed the 6,000 subscriber milestone. And in order to celebrate that, as well as the end of my final exams, I have put together a little feeding compilation. So, I hope you enjoy. First up we have this Isopeda Vasta. This is a moderately large and rather stocky huntsman that is very common here in southeastern Queensland. And as you can see, she is not messing around. Straight to business. What she's starting to do here is lay silk on and around her prey. In the wild, this would protect her meal from small scavengers such as ants. In captivity, of course, it is uh, a waste of time, albeit a very entertaining one. Uh, mate, that cricket is well and truly wrapped up by now. You don't need to keep doing the Mexican hat dance. Okay, at this point it's gone beyond the Mexican hat dance. Now it's just cosplaying as a spinning top. Alright, so moving on from that spider who's probably still spinning, now we have another Isopeda Vasta. And now, you guessed it, another Isopeda Vasta. Don't worry, there will be other stuff in this compilation, I promise. But you can't deny these fellas are some very cool looking spiders. On the first attempt, she got a little spooked by the tongs, but no matter, we can always try again. This time, she's a little bit more obliging, although the takedown still happened out of sight, so I don't know, she's still a bit of an uncooperative prick. This will be the last Isopeda, I promise you. Ooh, someone wants to go for a walk. Finish your food first please, no one wants to see you like that champ. Well she's heeded my advice and agreed that a much better use of her time would be staying home and doing a good old spinny spin. The big hairy spider goes round and round, round and round, round and round. The big hairy spider goes round and round all day long. Uh, 
at last we are done with the Isopeda. This is a juvenile Holconia imminus, or giant band enhancement. And while it is still quite small at the moment, it will eventually grow to be one of Australia's biggest species. Not quite the same size as Typostola barbata, but pretty close. Holconia imminus is quite common along the eastern coast of Australia, and seems to be one of the more familiar species here. They tend to be found beneath bark on large eucalyptus trees, although they do turn up in people's houses from time to time. Here is quite possibly the titan of Aussie Huntsman, Typostola barbata. And yes, I didn't film the actual takedown. Was it because I forgot to press record or something? <laughs> no, no, who could possibly be stupid enough to do that? Moving on from the Huntsman, we got a quick takedown from a juvenile Paraambolids boisai. And now it's time for a couple of funnel webs. First up is a young captive bred Hadronikian fencer, roughly two years of age. This is probably the most widespread species of funnel web in southeastern Queensland, and also the only one that can actually be found within Brisbane suburbs. It also seems to be a little bit hopeless when it comes to locating its prey. See, this is why I am so sceptical about people claiming to have been chased by these animals. These spiders can't do anything, they're the epitome of not living up to your reputation. But she got her food in the end, even though that fat booty doesn't look like it needs any extra nourishment. Now we got a bigger funnel web. This is an adult female Hadroniki Versuta. More specifically, she is the uh, ungrateful twat that I was cleaning in what is currently my most viewed video by far. And now she's making the not so intelligent decision of eating out in the open. Mate, if you did that in the wild, you'd be centipede food in no time. And speaking of centipedes, though that being said, they aren't featuring very heavily in this feeding video. Because at this time of year, a lot of my centipedes are either pre-molt, or fairly freshly post mold and they're not very keen on eating in either of those phases. I'd also like to note that the feeders I had available at the time were not the optimal size, and centipedes do seem to be noticeably lazy when attacking small prey. So all in all, the centipedes were not at their best for this video. And of course it wouldn't be a centipede video without one of the tiger forms going berserk. This of course was my fault, I should have removed that cricket the moment I realised it wasn't interested. Nice colours, but a shitty attitude. Just the way I like my peds. Here is an Ethmostigmus rub rub from Cairns. 
I've had it for a few years and it has been growing like a bloody glacier. Next up, a captive bred Silver Valley Ethmostigmus rub rub pez from last season's batch of babies. And this one's mother is currently on another clutch of eggs, so fingers crossed. When it comes to feeding, this little beastie certainly seems to have the right attitude. Although that is unfortunately accompanied by an aim worthy of a stormtrooper. This South Australian Ethmostigmus rub rub has molted fairly recently, and while it is beginning to show interest in food again, it still doesn't fully commit to the attack. It and its siblings also have the honour of being the first successful captive clutch of centipedes I've ever raised. I have had a couple of clutches laid previously, but they were all consumed by the mother. And last but not least, one of my captive bred Townsville Ethmostigmus rub rub hairs. One of my favourite rub rub hairs locales, honestly. Very chunky, and um, I like them chunky. Um, yeah, you can feel free to interpret that however you want. So there we have it, the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all very much for getting me past the 6,000 subscriber milestone. 6,000 certainly feels a hell of a lot bigger than 5,000. Um, probably because it is a hell of a lot bigger than 5,000. Um, so yeah, thanks again. If you enjoy my videos, then of course feel free to check out some of the other stuff I've uploaded. And if you want to stay updated, then I recommend you subscribe. So thank you all very much for watching. That is it from me, and I'll see you again very soon.